I am now ready to run Immaculate out of this town. How? First of all, it's going to be war of control and then elimination. And how do you intend to do that, knowing who Immaculate is? I know. I know it's not going to be easy, so that's why I'm strategizing. In that case, I think we need bodyguards. Bodyguards? Mm -hmm. That actually sounds like a good idea. I come to think of it, I know one or two people who can do the job. Oh, come with it. You don't know anything about bodyguards. Don't worry, I'll handle it. You? you? Okay. Now, that means... You have to stay a little longer with me. We can't double bodyguards now, can we? I think you have a point there. Hmm. Oh. general idea, isn't it? <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> so, what exactly is your line of business? Oil deals. You mean bone cream? Oil business is oil business, my friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come in. Madam. Mr. Brenda is here to see you. Mr. Brenda, uh, tell him I'll see him in five, all right? Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Okay. And you. 
Who is Mr. Brenda? It's some guru in the oil business. I can see that. <laughs> hmm. Oh my God, this is fun. Good afternoon, my sister. I am sorry. Um, I like your afro. It is very unusual. It's really not common. Um, it's sorry. Oh, I thought as much. Forgive me. Can I please feel the texture? Sure, why not? Thank you. Um, this thing is foreign. <laughs> Where did you purchase it? Well, I got it from a friend who, who got it from Italy. Ah, uh, I trust the Italian for their current fashion. Oh, forgive my lack of manners. My name is Jennifer. Louisa. Are you Nigerian? Yes. Why do you ask? You, you kind of have an accent. Oh. I lived in Uganda for some time, and from there I moved to Italy. Mm. But I, I just came home to see my country briefly. That's nice. So what do you do? I'm a journalist by training, but on the side, I'm also into international oil deals. What a coincidence. My friends are into oil deals too, but on a local level. <laughs> I think I should get you to meet my friends. I doubt that very much. I have to go back to Italy tomorrow. But what do you do for yourself? Well, I'm, I'm learning the ropes and all you deals, you know, with some other related deals with my friend Immaculate. Ah, that's her name? Yeah, Immaculate. Why don't you do something for yourself? Something like what? You could get into the Italian racket. I could give you connection. All you have to do is ship girls to them and they pay you cool money in dollars, I mean. Tell me about this deal. Oh, sorry. Wangi? Ah, Mukwano Oriotia. Ndeburun Gisebo. Oriudawa. Wabalanya Mukwano. All right, I will be with you in ten minutes. I'm sorry. My Ugandan partners, they need me right now. I have to go. But if you give me your number, I will call you. Uganda sounds nice. Oh, thank you. Wanaba, that's goodbye. Wanaba. All right, I'll expect a call. Thank you very much. Thank you.
What a day. You know what you must do? What? The president of Ego Sisters Club. You got me thinking. About what? Do you notice know that where she said we shouldn't let men give us money? You know, that we should try to make the money ourselves. Mm-hmm. It was really thought provoking. It was really what? Thought provoking. Oh really? You know, I've 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 made some money, yeah. Mm-hmm. <coughs> And thanks to you, my accounts are happy that I opened them. <laughs> so I'm thinking, why don't I go into runs? You know, try to make something for myself. Runs? Yeah. Because I have this Italian connection that says, get me some girls or get some girls and ship them overseas. I think there's something to be made of it. Louisa, why would you want to get involved in something of that nature? Why? A governor once said to me that the dirtier the deal, the sweeter the remuneration. And I quite agree with that. Louisa, you know, I really don't care how handsome the remuneration is. Shipping innocent young girls to Italy is not my idea of making good money. Uh-uh. No. My dear, those girls are not as innocent as you think they are. Besides, the cook business is off it for me. Then why don't you come join my business? Thanks to you, I'm already learning the ropes. But, but I need to build my own business empire. I need to make something, you know, something of my own. Something quite different. I need to ask you a question, you know. Yeah. Louisa, would you send your younger sister to Italy? What are you talking about? I can't. No, why not? Why would I send my younger sister to Italy? Exactly. Why would you send somebody's kid to Italy? Come on, Louisa, these kids are young and poor. They don't have a choice. And that is the choice you want to offer them? It's not like I'm forcing these girls to go to Italy. They want to go to Italy. And there's, there's lots of money to be made from it. Louisa, I really don't like this idea. No, I don't. I think you should think about it. It's not good. Mm -mm. I wasn't really thinking there was anything wrong in it, you know? Lisa. I don't believe that it's danger. 
Angel, I should have known it was you. Luckily, this is just a minute. Rich Ralph, who borrowed you his piece of cards, eh? Who? I told you Angel Williams was coming. She just gets ready to be eh? This is just the beginning. Sweetie, if I wanted to run that far, it's going to go trying to go. You see what I told you about that woman? How does she get those those fleet of cars? I mean, this is Lagos, come on. Any fool that can add up numbers can buy anything they want in Lagos. And don't forget that she cut her teeth under me. Did you see those written your bodyguards? <laughs> I did. That's why I got ours. My dear, you are always one step ahead. Always one step ahead. You can say that again. That's the only way you stay alive. Get me, look up. He's going to head office to make a report about the afternoon incident. Okay. What do you make out of the incident that happened this afternoon? Madam, you've got a ferocious enemy out there. Hmm. What do you suggest we do? The best form of defense is attack. Just give us the go ahead and we'll clean them all out. I see. Very well then, wait for my go ahead. Alright, madam. And if you need more hands, let me know. No, madam. Security is not a matter of numbers, but rather a thing of precision. I see. You can go, please. Thank you, madam. smart idea of employing bodyguards. I won't be here talking to you. I'll be dead by now. My dear, I know exactly what Immaculate is capable of doing. Well, she can't escape it this time. She sure won't. This time it's a battle that has to be finished. Sent for me, madam. Yes, I did. You saw what happened today, right? Yeah. Good. Now I want that idiot taught the greatest lesson of her life. My pleasure, madam. Good. Again, wait, 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 wait. Why did you let her feel there and touch my body? Because she committed what should be regarded as suicide in the security circles. How? You don't employ bodyguards and all of a sudden in the middle of the road. You jump out of the car and go punching. It's risky. I was angry, Shapiro. I was furious. That's the shortest cut to the grave, madam. Whatever. Next time, allow the bodyguards to do the punching. Yeah, okay, whatever. Just get the job done and fast. My pleasure, madam. Calm down, girl. <laughs> She's just lost the battle. <laughs> Actually, I feel sorry for her. She doesn't know what she's dealing with. <laughs> uh, Immaculate. 
<laughs> These are the Italian contacts I promise you. Just put a call across to them. Mention my name and you are in business. Tell me, Jennifer, is this risk-free? There is no way of making money that is risk-free. And shipping girls to Italy is no different. It is for those who are willing to make good and quick money. But if you have doubts, I could connect you to another business in the Bahamas. Just as Baka. It has to do with diamonds. Diamonds? Where will I source diamonds from? From Congo and Liberia. Those two war-torn countries. Please, I don't want to die in the hands of rebel soldiers. I'd rather stick with Italy, okay? Although my friend thinks it sucks. Your friend? Yes, Immaculate. Ah, uh, the one that is into oil, dear. I perceive she has a lot of influence in your life. She's my mentor. Uh, tell me about your friend. What do you want to know about her? Everything. Her background, her oil deal, everything. All right. Immaculate airs. Um. Mama, listen, I, I'm sorry I didn't keep in touch all these years. I, I was very busy. But that's not even important. Hmm? What is important is that I've come to remove you from this face me, I face you house. Hmm. Build a big house for you on our land in army. A big house, Mama. Not on your life. Not on my life. Yes! Until you tell me what you do. I've survived these years without you. And I keep on surviving. But me, to soil this my hand with unclean things, never. Mama? Mama? For seven good years. What baffles me is my baby, a little innocent child. What could they have done to me? Whatever they did to that child, God will surely fish them out. 
It's just that I was not in this country when this thing happened. I'd have hunted those men down. Don't worry, just take heart. Yeah? Take it easy, please. Oh my god, sit down. Hey! See, I just thought I beat you. So, how is it? Fine. Nora, Nora. <laughs> yeah? Evil Supreme Ladies on the runway, they can run you down A heart made of stone Yeah The battle for supremacy, where's the crown? Gunshots in the air It's a gun or it's a game of for the strong and not for the weak Strong ladies on the rampage, yeah. It's fabulous of the fetus, sister battle. Hey, I've got something in my mind. Hey, I don't know what the fuss is all about. Here's a check for two million naira. Okay. I'm into politics now. All right, six. Yes. That's the only profitable business in the country. Two million naira. But I see, cash the check and take care of yourselves. Huh? Don't worry, you'll try and get another baby, okay? And uh, please take care of Mama. You know Mama. She doesn't understand anything about politics and the truth is, I really don't have the time to try and convince her. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is very generous of you. It's okay. <laughs> um, I was thinking that um, since God has blessed me so much, I'd like... No Come here. <laughs> I want Nora to start staying with me when she finishes. Uh, 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 that's all right. It's okay. You know, it can be really lonely, so I like my family around me all the time. That's understandable. Very yeah. happy. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Let me go. Take care of yourself. Okay. Look after your brother and your wife. Oh, me. Okay. Yes. Okay. Sit very soon. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Everybody out. So do okay. So do okay. Do okay. So you please just leave. What is going on here? Can you just leave, please. Just leave. What is going on here? Angel Williams is shopping. And I cannot be seen struggling to buy a dress for the drugs. Angel. Is that truly you? Yes, it's me. So now that you know, why don't you get out? Let me continue my shopping. Angel, this is Shelly. Shelly Michael. Government Secondary School of Biokuta. You don't remember me. Shelly. Yes! 
Shelly Michael. Yes, Angel. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. She's my friend. All right. Um, why don't you join the others in the car? Take your voice with you. Shelly, Angel. Look at you. It's been how many years? Yo, I can't even remember. It's over ten years. I said, wait for me in the car. I'm sorry, madam. I take orders only from the boss. Really? Well, your boss takes orders from me. Shapiro, get those bastards out of this place. They're getting on my nerves. Right now. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, sir. If this is a no problem, sir. around with so much bodyguards. For security reasons now. Don't you think you are attracting undue attention? What would I do, Shelly? If you're in my shoes, you'll do the same thing. I don't think so. Anyway, so tell me, what do you do? Where have you been? How is life? And Angel, I've been everywhere. I'm into this and that. What's this and that? Like, keep your eyes open, find out which governors join the party, supply the girls, and cash your millions. Like the last one paid 50 million. What? How <laughs> good for you? Yes. How will one cut part of the national cake? Abby? Ah, so tell me, what do you do? What are you into? Bunkering. What? I will bunker. You're really in a high sign. By a special grace. So tell me, why are you not a member of the Eagle Sisters Club? What's that? What's the Eagle Sisters Club? What's that? I'll tell you. Grab your phone. And you will sack all those news as you call bodyguards. Sack my bodyguards? <laughs> Shame, <Yeah. you> please. <laughs> yeah? Because the club itself protects the members. The police, the army, they are the back and call. You don't need those people. They're not your bodyguards. I'd like to know more about this Eagle Sisters class. So you find it from the girl. Let's carry on shopping. Right. <laughs> 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 So, Nora, like I was saying, you know how we've suffered for our lives. Now that God has used Angela to bless us, we must be thankful at all times. Don't forget to be prayerful. Hmm? Make sure Angela finds somebody reliable in you. Hmm? Do everything, Please, sister. take care of yourself. Yeah. Let me see you to the door. Yeah. Mr. Carl. You know, I was wondering, what exactly do you think I am? What you are? You know, to you. You ask. Sir, do you think of a whore? I don't think so, you are a whore. Maybe because of the way I panned out to you every time I need something. Maybe that could uh, make you have uncomplimentary impressions about me. I do not have such very strong conception of you. I always think I have ever met an intelligent lady, an interesting lady. I like you. 
Are you serious? With every step of seriousness. That's good to hear. Very well then, Mr. Carl. I actually just heard that there is this big deal, I mean a sort of deal worth two million barrels of crude up for grabs. As hot as a picking of Ali. Am I telling me about that? Lady, I tell you, you have two years. <laughs> but you hear a lot. <laughs> Mr. Carl, tell me, what's the use of my ears if I can't use them for business? So tell me, are you going to me through this patch? Well, excuse me, lady. Just a moment. I see. Thank you so much for the dinner, Carl. So, Carl. Yes, my darling. Do I get it? What? The Minnesota deal, Carl. Well, I think you have it. Oh! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Gracias. <laughs> That's a good one to hear right now. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I think that was really, really nice. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, So, what's happening? What gives? Like? In the seas, what's happening in the bunkering business? I need to be kept up to date. Something big is cropping up. How big? Two million barrels. What? Seeing you like this makes me wish for my younger days. Forget about your younger days, Alex, and tell me about the two million barrels. It's through a firm in Minnesota. I'll get you the full details next week. You get it, Alex. And make sure this doesn't slip into Immokalee's hands. Because if it does, I'll buy a gun with two bullets. One for you, and one for me. You want it that bad? Yes, I'm damn serious. Many teeth are crying in this more like zone. Billy's on the table. Yeah. Double cross and knees if they don't have no care. My head in the mm. Okay, let me help you out. Welcome. I stop up with this, with this, with this, with this, with this, Ladies on the runway, they can put you down. 
a heart made of stone. Yeah. By the walls of free fish, she wears a crown. Gunshots in the air. It's a gun or it's a game of for the strong and not for the weak. Strong ladies on the front page. Yeah. Survival so of the fittest is the battle. I got something in my mind. Hey. And the one the fuss is all about. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you take your drink, eat while I eat. If you're not hungry, soon we'll be on our way, okay? Okay. That's a good girl. I know what you're thinking. You think I'm rushing you. You're saying it. I'll be a complete fool if I don't show an angel like you my residence before dropping you off at your sister's house. That way, we keep track of each other. But I have seen here. Why don't we go? Not that fast. If I bring an angel like you home without offering you a drink, then I never really planned of seeing you again, did I? Impossible, ain't you? With a beauty like you pushing me, <laughs> impossible. It's a mild world. Shall we? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> babe, guess what? Something big is on the way. How big? Something really big. How big is it? Very big. Two million barrels of crude. Jesus Christ! That is 20 million era! I see your arithmetic is good. You don't say. <laughs> Very, very big. Anyway, I'm shipping 50 girls by the weekend. <laughs> but I haven't seen you with any girls. I mean, how have you been organizing it? I ran into this gorgeous looking fellow, you know, speaks smooth and does incredible things behind closed doors. <laughs> Louisa, be careful. <laughs> he can actually talk a nun to bed, you know, at first try. So? You know, he's a perfect pin. You know, I just noted the either to him and now we're partners. I see. Well, he, he for now he's got like 45 pretty young things ready to fly. 45 girls? Mm -hmm. Where did you get them from? You know, he did it in just two weeks. So, with my connection in the embassy, I got their visas ready and by the weekend, we'll be leaving. All this for what? I mean, what is in this for you? <laughs> Each girl I ship overseas to my agent in Milan gives me a whopping one million naira. I don't think it's sleepable. Whooping one million naira? You call one million naira whooping? That is chicken chain, Louisa. I feel what? I feel what? Louisa, every business must show some signs of nobility. For crying out loud, you are debasing womanhood. The 
even you know, amongst thieves, there is, there is honor. I warned you strongly about this business. I really did. You know, I really cannot believe that you're going on with this aberration. I really can't believe it. Anyway, are you coming for the meeting tonight? Yes, I am. Okay, then, see you there. Shelley, introduce the new member. I'm sorry, Falcon Queen, she's a bit late. Late? Are you aware of that? A new member that's supposed to be on seat on a day like this? When you're supposed to be seated before any other person? I am sorry, Falcon Queen. It might be traffic. <laughs> Welcome, Angel Williams. cannot belong to this meeting. An imposter? Everything she represents, I mean, her gait, her walk, her, her, her reasoning, everything! Enough. Enough of that. Okay. Oh, sit down. And this doesn't matter, matter please. Hello. Hello, Angela. This is Rita. Don't tell me you're still in bed at this time of the day. I've been trying to get you to Nora, but her phone is over in true. What do you mean you've been calling Nora and you can't get through to her? Is she not staying there with you? Lives there with me? She has been with you there for the past three days. What? What are you talking about? You mean Noah left for Lagos three days ago and I'm just getting to know about it? But, but what? I, I'll, I'll call you later, please. Bye bye. Angela, hello, hello. What? What? How? Huh? Don't you know what they're doing in Italy? Don't you know? With who? With me. Hot. Thank you. 
There's several reason to be happy and be jubilating because out of the 50 girls we have to go to Italy, you are among the first batch. Oh, wow. <laughs> and meanwhile, my boss will soon be on our way. She will soon be here. And please behave yourselves when she comes. Is that okay? Yes. Oh, here she comes. Welcome, Yeah, welcome. Hi girls. Hi. Hello. What's your name? My name is Nora Auntie. Nora. Nice name. And you're pretty too, you know. Thank you, Auntie. Anyway, I have your passports here with me. And it contains your visas and all the other travel documents you will need. Your transit to Italy. I must warn you girls to behave yourselves and abide by the rules of the game. Well, I have spent lots of money to make sure I get these papers and that you're well taken care of. <laughs> so you must work very, very hard to get this money back on time. Okay? Yes. And another thing, your body no longer belongs to you. So you must do everything possible to make sure you make your clients happy. Okay, do everything they want, you know, so you can get whatever you want from them. You know, the game is, the rule of the game is give and take. So you must give the men whatever they want so you can get what you want from them. You know how it is. And again, I have agents all over the place. So if any of you tries to be smart, you will not live to tell the story. Okay? So, I warn you again. Once more, congratulations. And welcome to the Big Girls Club. <laughs> You still have not told me why I should stop her from becoming a member. Queen, this lady is evil. She's diabolical. In fact, she thrives on perpetual crisis. But then most of us are these things even worse. You don't understand, Queen. Okay. You remember that five million dollar deal? Mm -hmm. That's you had to help me salvage when I got into the Ego Sisters Club. <laughs> this lady was the one that tried to take that deal. Admitting this lady into the Ego Sisters Club spells nothing but doom. Sheer doom. Immaculate. I have secretly screened Angel. She's a perfect material. I understand it when she stumbled by the back after picking her up from the gutters. You know about that? I'm the president of the Ego Sisters. Not in case of that. You see? So do you see? So I, I see. That's why it beats me why you would want to have such a person, such a two edged, you know, commanding person in the list of this noble people, in the list of this noble organization. I still don't understand it. It's here. This is a perfect opportunity to make up with Angel. Both of you need to fight from one side and not as enemies. No! Never! Thank <laughs> you. 
Who is in charge here? And what is the meaning of this? What if it is? I am sure you are not blind. We are men of the Nigerian Police Force. I want no area boys. We represent a team of professional security guards. And we stand by the Concrete Affairs Commission. Hey, hey, hey. What the hell is going on here? The inspector says we should wear in our pants because they are putting on the damn uniform. Hello, Inspector. I'm local. I'm in charge. What gives? I have warrant for the arrest of Immaculate Richards. Her arrest? Let's see. Now, what does it mean? Who the hell does he think it is? We should move in there and do our job and come out. What is it? I'm afraid. Not a pleasant news. I'll take it He warrants for your arrest from the commissioner's office. or goes out unless I said so. You got it, boss. Really? Okay. So, I'm afraid to sports the show. Our subject will not follow you on such a round display of irresponsibility. Do you want to give way or do you want us to pull everything down? Why don't you try? We have five minutes to bring out that lady or Moving Why waste precious five minutes? Okay, you have allowed me to, to deal with this idiot. Um, there's a problem. There's a warrant for my arrest. From the commissioner's office. Yes. 
I'm, I'm in my house. I'm a VGC. Okay. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem, sir. Right away, sir. Okay, sir. You boys should go in and take today's date in your dial. Because today is your luckiest day. I will be back. Yes. Smoke. Come on, shut up! Wait a minute. How did you ever get mixed up in this mess? Eh? Sister, I... My own sister happily going on a prostitution trip to Italy. Sister, believe me, I didn't know what got into me. Sister, please. Please what? No, please what? If Mama hears this now, she said I wanted to use you for money rituals. And that that's how I make my money. Habba, sister. Come on, shut up before I slap your eyes out. Idiot. Now listen to me. I'm going to lock you up in this place. No phone calls. Never cross my gate until I finish dealing with the maculate. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Yes. Now get out and go and have a shower, you stink, I beg. Welcome once again, Falcon Queen. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Commissioner, I won't take that from you. Not when you are not an eagle lady. I won't take that. Well, Mr. Commissioner. If it wasn't important, I wouldn't have been here. You don't need to tell me. I know. Being up there is not just a matter of dreams. It involves a lot of action. My club member was involved in yesterday's mess. And I'm here to clear it up. Agnes. Let's get to the basics. The issue involves here are threefold. Illegal exportation human trafficking and overseas prostitution you see each one of them the federal government abhors it with venom i know now agnes think of the three of them put together listen sunday there are laws yes there are laws but there are those above the law not anymore. You see, the present regime has changed everything. How much? It is not a matter of how much money. Okay, Mr. Tunde, everything gets down to money. Oh, are you trying to tell me that Exporting girls for Oh, prostitute. save me, save me all that, Mr. Tunde. Every woman is a prostitute. Your level of practice depends on your orientation and needs. So tell me, how much? 
It sets the club account back by 10 million naira. This club doesn't streamline any business. Yes. But what it frowns at is carelessness. Mm. If you must do anything illegal, make sure you can get away with it. Yes. yes. Falcon Queen. I want to understand why you immaculate or recruit my sister for prostitution in this room. Doesn't she have a sister? Hmm? Right. Doesn't she have a sister? You are just an ill man, an idiot. No. What? what? No! Angel, you look at me immaculate and think that I will recruit little things. Little girls for prostitution. Me? Oh. Me? So now Shut up! About. Shut up! And let me remind the two of you. Angel, you in particular. This club has rules and regulations. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Immaculate here said she wasn't involved. Louisa here said she didn't recruit the girls herself. Never knew your sister from Adam. They're lying. They are all liars. Angels, your entire family are liars. No. What? You call me a liar, you this thing? <laughs> this ingrate? You call me a liar? Stop it! Stop it! Stop We are in a hurry. I can only help you take out of the road, okay? Let me help you get out of the road. Got Romeo in hospital. Shapiro in bandage. And worse, lost a million dollars. Good morning, Angel. Morning, Shapiro. Are you sure you're all right now? Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little scratch. There's been a problem. Which is? 
I don't understand what exactly happened um, recently, but I know that Angel is up to something. And by the time she decides to strike back, she will be shooting from the hips. I need you guys to be on your toes. Mm -hmm. Madam, my duty is to protect you. That's why you have me. You will leave. Good. That is all I need to know. If there is any development I need to know about, let me know quickly. Very quickly. Excuse me. My daughter, there is bitterness in the heart of the people that want you dead. And until you die, they won't rest. What do I do? You have to fortify yourself against knife and guns. Like, you mean like Odeshi? I don't know what you call it, but I know no will do it. Yakekere, yeah, please do it for me. Eh? Money is not the problem. You have to do the sacrifice. It is a virgin. It is a virgin that you will bring so that you will fortify yourself against guns and knives. Mundia, Arelua, Oloku, Alewa. Will you? And if I say I don't go, what will you do? Don't let me manhandle you. Now you get back. Hey, it's okay. I'm going. Just take it easy. Listen. Between me and you, what can be friends? I mean, real friends. You must be crazy or something. I thought you were strong, but I can see you are afraid of my sister. You are not even a dreamer. Nora! Nora, are you okay?
My daughter, enter the pot for your last preparation. And you're not working, Kole. I tell you, okay? No, that's what I'm I want to tell you, yeah. Not any law. What did you say? Oh, look. Oh, look. I tell you, what have you done? I'm going to go to the Come, my daughter. As from today, I have fortified you to go into this world. Go! Go and fear no fall. Go! What? I want you. Now tell me, why are you so stubborn? Am I? I can't sleep without thinking about your masculine features. Why don't you show me that you're a man? A real man? Come on, watch me dance. Come on.
That's it. Oluko so. That's why they call me Baba Shagu. Oluko so ayi na. You really are Baba. Eh, um, Baba, but I have a problem. Since that last time, I've not seen my period. Your period? I mean, I've not menstruated. Uh, um, my dear daughter, what concerns uh, what concerns virtual with Baba? Baba, what do you mean? Baba, you have used your blood. I mean, your period. You have used it for the last you do. Uh -uh. You, you never see it again. Eh? That's why I told you to be someone else. But you insisted on your own blood. Papa, are you trying to say I will never conceive again? Conceive? <laughs> you don't see person. We know they do time. Conceive before. Okay, Papa. Since this is the way it is, that means I have to take the maximum out of life. Hey, 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 my daughter, wait, 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 wait. What exactly are you talking about? Huh? Baba, I want to be fortified. Fortified? Oh, if it is so, are you willing to pay the price? Baba, I will pay anything. This time around, I can do anything. Mm, then come back tomorrow. <laughs> That's good, my daughter. Okay, I'm waiting for you. Thank you very much. Hmm. Da, da. Hmm. <laughs> Um, I didn't know you could be this romantic. Why don't you quit this job and start a business of your own? No, I can't. Why? You think it's easy? Where do you expect me to get the capital? Don't tell me you've not raised enough money for my sister. All I make is my salaries. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you depend on your meager salaries. You can make millions here if you're fast. Or oh, are you not a man? How? Look, I can help you raise enough capital. How? That's no problem, but on one condition, quit this job and be on your own. No, 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 I can't. Honey, please, don't be a fool. This place is not for the likes of you. I mean, you don't have to die for nothing. My sister is just using you guys. Can't you see? I don't understand. Listen, my sister has got mixed up with evil men and women, and they are after her life. You, as the bodyguard, will be used as a sacrificial lamb. No, don't tell me this. I don't believe you. I don't believe, believe me. No, no. Yeah, Alex, you insist me. I asked you to come. Now it's fair. You fucked me! Alex, we have no time for these things. You know that. The Denmark crude deal. Oh, that. Mm. Well, the stakes got higher. Mm. I had no option but to trade it. Trade, but it was my deal. You gave it to me. Well. Balls can chain nets. Besides, you didn't tidy up. Come on, man. When someone says handle a deal, he lays off. Well, five million dollars are involved. Someone up. 
threaten to revoke our license. I have to ban. Someone up there? Sure. Who, God? Well, Alex, we are in foreign territory. Lots of tigers get pulled in this country. We play dumb. Just like his double side. We, we, do, we don't like that, do we? Damn. What am I going to tell Angel? It's simple. Just tell her. Try next time. You don't know her. I do. She's going to have my balls for this cock up. Alex, close this chapter. You are a busy man. I am a busy man. Tomorrow is the next try. Pass this message to Angela. You think that's all there is to it? Well, you can bullshit this to another though. There is no kiddies club. We have eyes and we see. Look, I knew you were jolted by the, I mean, exchange of fire today. But we have to soldier on. That's the least of my worries now. The least of your worries? Angel has come at the Minnesota deal. Jesus Christ. Louisa, I said Angel, not Jesus Christ. Now she has beaten more than she can chew. What is going on?
You can't go on fighting each other like animals in the streets. How long do you think the government will keep quiet about your madness? You're giving the Eagle Sisters a bad name. I'm sorry for Conquen. Not about you being sorry. It's all about both of you putting an immediate stop to this nonsense. She has to relinquish my oil deal. She has to. Over my dead body. And I tell you, this reputable club will have no option but to expel the both of you if this fight continues. This club will set out a modality where both of you will handle the contracts together. No way! No! What are you trying to say? Believe me. I saw it with my eyes. Yeah. They fired at her, but the guns refused to fire. You know what? Angel is really smarter than we think she is. I think so. Trouble everywhere, even in my soul. I begin to shed, shed some tears. Make tears in this world I soon. Deal is on the table. Yeah. Double cross and nooses, they don't have no care. We're heading for the kids. I don't care who's a psychic I to the door. Hi, Angel. Where the hell are you coming from? What sort of question is that? When I ask questions in my house, I expect answers. Your house. <laughs> okay. Since I have turned to a house help in your house, I guess it's about time I left. That is not the answer to the question I asked you. Where on earth do you think I'm coming from? Mm. My name is Angel, quite a lot. I'm not your friendly angel. In fact, I'm your wicked angel. And if I find out you're trying anything... Like what? Like sleeping with Alex or something like that. <laughs> oh my god! Angel! Where on earth did you get that stupid insinuation from? I'm not stupid, Nina. And let me tell you, I pay good money to know what happens around me. And if what I heard is true... You heard bullshit. And you know what? You pay money for bullshit. <laughs> I'm not even interested in your... What's he called? Mm. Alex? Yes, Alex. I'm not interested in him. And even if I were... What am I even saying? Are you married to him? <laughs> Trouble left you even so. I begin to shed, shed some tears. So many tears I cry in this more like zone. Till he's on the table, yeah. Double cross and loses, they don't have no care. We're heading for the kids. I don't care who's a psychic at to the door. No, 
Look on a smile. What happened? Ma, everyone is dead. Except Breeze. Just from the hospital. What about Angel? Ma, she has a day she. What's the meaning of that? It's a charm. I shot her several myself. Bullets are not penetrating. What? Madam, I'll get to someone who will take care of her. You were right about your sister. She's full of evil and I'm getting out. I told you. Right now, I'm going to take you to a place where you'll be safe until we leave the country. Oh, oh darling, I love you. Mm. Mm. That's very wonderful. Yeah, everything is going to be okay. My daughter, your wound has healed. I have equally fortified you against bullet and gun. As from today, you shall be the only invisible lady around. And of course, the richest. Because you shall take over your friend's work. Thank you, Papa. Thank you very, very much. I am really grateful. Okay, my daughter. Thank you very much. Um... But my daughter, please don't forget to pay your sacrifice to my God, who gives you all this freely. Papa will never forget. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Hey, go look at you. Can for you? Darling, thank God you're fine again. <laughs> but I told you, I told you that once I get here, I'll be fine. Now look at me, I'm completely healed. Now tell me, what's been going on? Everything is okay. I have paid the money into our joint accounts. Wow! Really? Yes. Mm. How is your lover girl? Oh, that one. <laughs> She's cooling off somewhere. And <laughs> she still has another $200,000 that we must go for. Anyway, she's a small fry. I miss you, baby. Still is Hmm. One of my bodyguards recommended you to me. And if you are anything near what he says you are, then you must be really good. He wasn't exaggerating. Hmm. Very well then. The woman in question uses charms. What did he call it? Or day she or something. I know. Can you handle that? Piece of cake. Good. I want her head. I want her head on a platter. For the right price, if that is what you want, then you will have it. Good. Music to my ears. You need to remove yourself. You need to support yourself. Not only a baby, but somebody you love from your family. Yeah, okay, Kerry, there's nobody pregnant in my family. You haven't searched you. Have you? Search very well. You will find it. If not, things will start going wrong with you. And don't forget that this is your last sacrifice. After that, your wealth will stay forever. <laughs> Ah. 
What's happening? None of my family members is pregnant. Where can I get the baby for the last sacrifice? Where? Iyakikere told me to look and I will find. What does she know? Get her. Go. I wonder where she gets her powers. Everything is going wrong. Exactly. It's a pretty really good. I mean the war. Why don't you, you and Angel try to make peace just like Falcon suggested? <sighs> if you or anyone in this town think that I will buckle out simply because of some kind of intimidation for some riff raff or something, you guys are up for a surprise. It's just that, it's just that I, you know, it's just that what? Louisa, look at the door behind you. Go out of it and stay out if you have suddenly turned ready. Don't distract me. I'm sorry. She's 
going to come. I know she will. And that will be her funeral. You can see about the game. Angel! Job. So you never knew. You're wicked. You're so scented. You're a witch. Great. Great. So fast, ladies. I pleaded my time. Now it is time for you to come and answer for your sins. Let me make a call. Save your breath. Your days, of course, are over. The ego is long. I will make a call. Yourself. Hello, Queen. She rang the phone on me. Bravo. Eh? But I love you. 
Oh, shut up! What do you know about love? Sister, I... Where is my $200,000 you stole from me? Where is my $200,000 you stole from me? Where is it? Step aside, Angel. What are you doing? Oh. She didn't want to ask me what the hell you're doing here. Hold oh, your peace, little man. And don't you ever lay those filthy hands on my husband again, because if you try that, I will tear you to shreds. Your husband? Oh, I'm sorry, Angel. Let me formally introduce you to the apple of my eye. Bob. Bob is my husband and I actually brought him in here to help me corner your empire. You did what? Oh yes. When I realized your problem with the machinate, I noticed you were rather ruthless, selfish and ungrateful. And I knew if given the chance you would use those same traits on me. So I decided to act fast. And I thought of a very perfect plan to bring in Bob. Oh, sorry, Shapiro, as your bodyguard. Oh, you did it so perfectly. He organized the one million dollar robbery and gave himself a wand to make it look real. You see, Angel, what goes around comes around. Look at me. I now own your Mr. Croft. The same way you snatched him away from Immaculate. And after I must have killed you. Hold it! Please! Madam, I hope I'm on time. You guys were almost late. Sorry, madam. Actually, there is nothing you or anyone can do for Angel Williams now. But we can appeal. Or, or we can get the sentence commuted. I doubt it, madam. She was found guilty of first-degree murder. 
she used people for ritual sacrifice and their way of weighing evidence against her. Besides, the death sentence has been approved by the president and they will be executed tomorrow. Maybe you might want to see her. I can't. I can't bear it. Oh God, Angela. Are you sure there's nothing we can do? Please. Oh God, Angela. Mama, stop bothering yourself. You give us a heart attack, and then we'll be in real trouble. What other trouble? Well, than this. My daughter to be hung as a common criminal. Not as if I did not train her well. Where have I gone wrong? Where have I gone wrong? Enough. At least I'm here for you. Good evening. This is the evening news flash. My name is Pearl Olachi. The police have apprehended some prominent high society ladies who are alleged to perpetrate evil in our society. The women who operate under the aegis of Ego Sisters Club were systematically picked up at various locations for offenses ranging from bunkling to trafficking in girls and murder. In an interview, the first public relations officer commanded his voice for a job went done, affirming that the corporates have already been charged to court and those found guilty of murder for ritual face the maximum penalty. Hello? Is this Nora? Yes, Nora speaking. Who are you? Hi, Nora. You're Angela's younger sister, right? Yes. Who are you, please? My name is Tessie. Tessie Coro. I'm not sure if you remember me. What? Auntie Tessie! Is that you? We thought you were dead. I mean... Sister, Angela said you were shot by assassins. That's true. I was shot by assassins, but I didn't die. God saved my life. Angela knew about it, but I told her not to tell anybody. And, I, and she really remained a good friend. Auntie Tessie, where are you? I'm in the country now. How is mom? Auntie, Sister Angela was... I saw it in the news. Is Mama okay? No. She wants to kill herself because of Auntie. Because of Sister Angela's case. I understand how she feels and I promise I will do my best for Angela, okay? Um, listen, I, I need you to bring Mama to me. I, is she there? Let me talk to her. Okay. Mm. Hello? I'm fine. It's okay. My daughter, you have seen what has become of your friend. Mama, relax, please. Just, just calm down, okay? Please. Mama, Angela was a true friend, and I can never forget that. I know there is little or nothing I can do for Angela now, but I just need you to allow me to take care of you and Nora. Hey, what shall I say? Mama, there's nothing to say. I remember how you used to treat me like your own daughter in those days. I know I'm an orphan, but I believe that I have another mother in you. Hmm? Teresa, Ma. you're always a grateful child and you always be. Mama, 
I want to take care of you. I want to get a decent job for Nora. I have one or two issues to sort out, but after that, I would want to buy a house. And then we can all stay together in house. Thank you, Auntie Jason. I can't thank you enough. God bless you, my daughter. Thank you. I'll continue with you. I want both of you to relax. Mm? Calm down. Everything is fine. So, anybody hungry? Should I order some food? Room service? I'd like to order some food, please. Yeah, room 301. Fried rice? Hmm? Okay, fried rice and chicken. Two. Thank you very much. Come on, boy. The black man stands, you pulled on me the other day. It was a bad one. You hit me below the belt. Anyway, we're in another country, so we need to appear malleable to their desires. We can't be seen to be hurting their national pride. Even now, we may be able to hurt their national pride. Hello, Alex. My God, are you real? Of course I am real, darling. It is me, Tessie, in flesh and blood. And this must be Carl Goodman, your partner in... Anyway, where have you been in my absence? Where have you been? Well, here and there. <laughs> I heard you were dead, shot by... An assassin? Sent by Immaculate. Whom you turned against me, you took her from me and turned her against me and made her my enemy because you're such a spineless man. Alex Croft, you have cost me two of my friends, Angela and Immaculate. You come here, steal from us, bleed us dry, and set us against each other by manipulating our desires and inordinate lusts. But hey, I don't blame you. I blame us. But I hold you responsible. Offenses must come. But woe unto him through whom the offense cometh. Tessie, you judge me too harshly. Do I? Oh, I'm so sorry. Did I not tell you that? Radix malorum escopiditus. Did I not? Would you, with impunity, Perpetrate in your country what you do here and go free. My darling, bunkering and all other anti-economic activities are illegal. Did I not tell you that? You don't understand the pressures I was under. Pressures? Oh, Alex, you need to look into fiction. For in fiction lies reality. The devices of imagination are more dangerous than any weapon. Okay? Let me say what you used to say. Tempest fugit. Time flies. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Men from the EFCD. You're under arrest. You see your identification? I'll put it Alex, what is happening? I don't know. 